Come on, DOSBox, what are you doing? Stop being annoying. Whee! There it goes. Look at Lara Croft! What a name. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Much obliged for you being here. Right, we're gonna skip through with this. Uh, just to say to anyone that hasn't played Albion, or watched me play Albion before, this is uh, our main character, Tom. That's his dream. It's a crazy dream with balls and, and things exploding, and it's a bit confusing. You don't have to worry about that. All you need to worry about is we're in the bottom of a dungeon that I spent hours trying to get through and then still couldn't complete. Mainly because I'm a fool. Yes, so here we are. In the fourth, fifth level down in this dungeon. We've fought our way down here because we're looking for a dude called Bero, who is part of the Druid's Guild. We are currently in the forbidden part of the Druid's Guild. And he has come down here. The forbidden part, obviously he wasn't allowed to come out down here, but he went anyway. Come down here in search of some artifact. I'm not sure we know at the minute. We might do, but I've forgotten. We've got his son with us, uh, Melthus, who's the dude on the far right of your screen of our five uh, intrepid explorers. That guy there, that's him. He's um, a druid himself, so he's got magical powers, and he's not too bad. He's a quite he's quite low level compared to the rest of our group, but I think he's going to be sticking with us. Hopefully, we won't find him dead. His, his dad. But we'll find out. But what happened last time is I got stuck so bad down here and had to finish finish the the uh, the run not early because in fact I'd taken ages uh, getting down here. But I had to finish the run here instead of completing the dungeon. And it was this wall right here, right in front of me, apparently that. I was supposed to be keeping an eye out for. I thought when you open the map, there would be a little gap in the the grey walls here that would show you that's where the uh, the secret walls are. But apparently they're even more secret than that, and you just have to look at this wall and go, hmm, okay, that wall has some cracks in it, but not many cracks, and then look at this wall and go, hmm, that wall has more cracks on it. That's literally all you can do to, to figure out that that's the wall that you got to go through. DP! Thanks for the host! How are you doing today? How are you? Are you having a wonderful wet Wednesday? All the alliteration in that sentence. I don't know if you caught uh, what was happening just before then, but we figured out how to get, get through this dungeon, DP. There is a wall here that we didn't break through. Oh really? Congrats, DP. Well done on the on the progress. Speaking of progress, I'm 800 grams down from last week. Svelte. You can tell, can't you? Look, look. You can see my, see the lines on my face. <laughs> oh, sweet. I'm up for that. I can always. The wall has been penetrated by many deep cracks. That's what we need to do. We need to go like through all of the walls in the place and examine them if you can examine them because some of them some of them you can't examine like that one it, it won't it won't let you examine that one though ah that's that's all it is is finding a wall right clicking and finding that it's <sighs> rant over rant over i'll 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 congrats I'll, I'll i'll just carry on now thank you i'm pretty chuffed to be honest as i've already said that's two cans of uh, uh two cans of heinz beans well, it was two cans of soup earlier, but Heinz beans as well. <laughs> yeah, what's a uh, pro streamer total dungeon? That's PSTD. That's what it gave you. Tom hits the wall, and with a couple of strong blows, the wall collapses. How long did we spend trying to get through this damn wall? Trying to figure this out, and the only hint as well is that when we walked in here, Dreer said, Oh, there's a lot of rubble in this room. 
I mean, I should have known that something was up because of the fact that there was a, a little, not a cutscene, but a chat panel. But no. <laughs> yeah, that cracked wall was not our friend. Wait a minute. This is a... Okay, well, this is another dead end, it looks like. So, clearly, we need to find another wall to break. Can I use my eyes, or should I just... That looks the same, that looks the same, that looks the same, that looks the same. That looks the same, that looks the same. That! There we go. This one's cracked. Man, have I just got to learn the textures? How, did, do the textures stay the same between uh, dungeons? Because... That would be useful in terms of uh, getting through walls like this. Uh, oh, we do oh, Tom does have more pickaxes. Tom hits the wall a couple of times and it collapses. Nice. How far are we through now? Sweet. That's good news. At least then I can learn what looks like a uh, uh, a breakable wall. Although, the difference between the two is minuscule. They did a really good job of hiding it. In my opinion, too good of a job. <laughs> is that the one on the left? Yes, it is. More flames. I don't hear any enemies. <laughs> I hear someone on the toilet. I'm not... I, I will stop making that joke at some point. It just, it tickles me. That noise. What else could it be? Come on. Oh, let's have a look. What we got? Ooh! Three specials. What are these specials? Switch. Switch. Switch that growled at me, apparently. And what's this? A locked portcullis. There is no lock in it. And this one we can't lift up. Some of them we have been able to lift up. But clearly not that one. What else we got? Good lovely flower arrangement. Nice. Nice. That's what I like. I like a good bit of flower arranging in a dungeon. Just really brings the place together. Okay, so... Oh, there's more specials on this side. I'm going to call it and say that this is the last level of the dungeon. It just feels like it should be. So let's just crank this handle. Ah! Oh. Attack, then. Oh, my lord. <gasps> it's an animal three. Oh, what do we do? Okay, we haven't actually taken on... Did I write down how many hit points these dudes have? Because we, we were stupid and we uh, triggered a massive trap. And there was like... Hundreds of animal threes just let loose. We died. We died very quickly. Um, but I don't know whether I did view of life. I did! 125! They have 125 hit points. Ah! What are we going to do? Alright, let's take them on. Let's take them on. Balls to the wall. Syra, if you could frost splinter him, that would be great. Uh, Melphus... Yeah, do your thing. That's almost a guaranteed 16 hit points uh, from Melphus. <laughs> Reyna, get in there, man! You can take that dude on. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Uh, yeah, Reyna. Pretty standard attack pattern. Lock in the X-Wing. Oh. <sighs> the animal... Oh, it partially defected the spell. But it is frozen. Nice. That was surprising. We haven't had that happen before. Uh, Melphus. Melphus only actually... Uh, there was only 7 damage that he caused that turn. Not the usual 16 that we're used to. Maybe it's because it, this animal is obviously harder than the usual. Well, he's he is frozen, so we get a free round to him. 
I'm going to see how much healing uh, uh, that Melthus can do. I think Syrah's just going to, like, spam Frost Splinter. See if she can't keep this dude frozen. It's probably the best idea. Five damage. Eight damage. The tiniest bit of healing. Melthus. It is still frozen. You know what? Melthus... These bars here indicate how much knowledge they have on one one uh, one spell by the looks of things. I might have to refer back to the manual um, to get my head around it properly, but I don't think you level up. I think that's the amount of this that you can cast with your current uh, SP spell points available. So I can cast two of these, three of these, or five of these. So I'm just going to spam this on Tom. Because he needs to, to level this up. Healing sounds like quite a good... Uh, too bad. This is working. This is working well. Uh, I hope we don't have to fight too many of these dudes. Because we are rinsing through Syrah's hit points. I mean, spell points. That's the count until your mana is dry. Beyond that, you can spend life points and have no mana. Okay. Cheers, DP. I sure figured that out, but... Yeah. It's good to know that... It's good to know that I'm right for once. Okay. What else are you going to do, Syrah? You don't really have much magic points left. Spell points. Spell points. I don't want to move you up just in case this thing turns around and smacks you in the face. This thing is still frozen, so we'll, we'll have one round free. One free round. See if we can't kill him in this round. Five damage. Bit more healing. Rainer misses. Oh, look! Look what happened. Rainer missed. <laughs> okay. So these guys take a heavy... A hefty beating. Heavy? Hefty? Same thing. Um. Oh, and when it goes gold, it's because I need to start using life points and spell points. Slash or spell points. I see. Got it now. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Malthus, do you have a ranged weapon? I forget what you actually have, your normal your normal weapon. Oh no, he's got the sun dagger. Oh yeah, he's got the, the sun dagger. GP, frost seems to last about three turns. So you can hold off Syra casting for about two of them and then you max out mileage for the monster being unable to act. Oh really? Because we cast that last turn and he seems to be free now. It looked to me like yeah, that only lasted one one turn. Let's find out. Oh no, he's attacking us! He's attacking me! Oh, <laughs> that's the weirdest death. Poof. Seventy-two experience for that dude, though. I mean, that was a slog of a fight. I still still prefer Crondir twos. That uh, Crondir ones. Do you take take on two Crondir ones? That gives you, what was it, 90 experience points? And you can deal with them like that. You don't have to use any spell points or anything. I think we missed the trick by not grinding out the uh, the Crondir ones back in the day. Uh, can we rest? Because that really took it out, was it? Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Um, I kind of... Oh god, nothing else has been... What's this fire here for? Ah! Is that... Is that... That's a cracked... That's a cracked wall, isn't it? It's a cracked wall! Oh, no. Uh, Drea's got the buckets. Uh, please chuck a bit of water on that. And then, Tom, if you could swing at this dude. This wall here. The wall collapses. Nice. Where are we? 
What? Where are we? Hello? They learned a thing or two from the Atlantean Guardians and dying in a fantastic explosion. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's true. They, they've still got ways to go before they, uh, they quite master the art of exploding. I'm really looking forward to finding out what happens in Unfinished Business. Like, is there more Atlantean Guardians for us to take down? Is it? What is the point of this room? Is this another room with a... A, a wall that you can break? Because... If not, then why... Why am I here? What about around here? Does that look like a wall? No. Give me a breakable wall. That one! That one! Found it! Found it. Don't worry, I got this. Come on! Come on! How many walls have we got to go through? Come on. This is just ridiculous. Oh! A button! Ah! Uh -huh. Manipulate. There is a muffled sound of an opening portcullis. Well, hopefully that's next to those switches. Fingers crossed. Whilst we're in here, though, I am just going to check the walls, because... You never know. There might be secret passage. I'm obsessed! I know. But there might be. No. No, okay. Right, so... We we had to go through there to find that switch. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll die. Poor Carlos is open. Wait, so these switches, what were these switches for? Did they just open up fights? Should we take on another one? I'm going to take on another one. Have at you! Yeah, yeah, you know it. You know it! So they moved pretty fast, didn't they? So if we cast Frost Splinter with... Syrah... Is she gonna miss? Let's find out. Yes. Oh my word, they're fast! Oh, he's going for Reyna! Oh, Lord! Lord, Lord, Lord! Uh, yeah, definitely Frost Splinter, please. And Reyna, you should probably just run away there, lad. Oh, Drear isn't in range. Oh, this has gone wrong. This has gone very wrong. Oh, dear. Okay, Melthus. Start spamming fireball, please. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe. Oh, man. Oh, man, what have we done? Uh, right, okay, we're going to have to use some... Some some bigger stuff here. Berserk. Magic shield. Wait a second. Wait a second. Berserk was definitely on the list of things that Melthus could learn from that druid leader. Oh. We might be able to learn this while we're down here. But clearly not in the middle of a fight. Melthus can't just sit down and just bring out books. To... One second. Uh, okay, Sun Dagger then. Um... Use the sun dagger on this dude. Oh, no. Malthus, please. Yeah. Sun dagger. I mean, it's a row of monsters. It's a bit of a waste, isn't it? Let's see how much damage it does to him. Rainer. Start, start popping away, I suppose. Syrah. What magic items have you got? Crystal dagger. Go on in. Go on in. 
let's uh, slow the uh, combat text to lay down so we can really see what's going on in this fight. Jira is moving. Oh man. 16 damage for the, the crystal dagger. You, however, now are definitely going to have to use uh, Frost Splinter again. And she doesn't have many hit points left. Drear. Oh god, you really have to tank this, dude. Managed to miss with the Sun Dagger. The blinding blinding ray, or whatever it was. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, looks like the freeze only lasts for one round. Uh, I'm calling that now, DP. <laughs> okay. So the only way that we're going to be able to defeat this is by using, like, a ton of life points. Syrah, like, you just have to spam... Frost Splinter. Again and again and again. Fireball from Melthus. Rainer just... <laughs> that's that's how Rainer fires a bow, by the way. It's one of those little kiddie bows, you know, with little suckers on the end. That's why, that he's, that's why he's not hitting very hard. Oh, I see. He's managing to partially deflect it. It also might be that he's partially defecting the, the spell. That's because the fireball is doing less damage because he's partially deflecting the fireball too. Oh man, I'm going to have to start chugging some green pots just so that I can cast spells. Mm. Maybe, maybe, yeah, latent resistance. I'm just taking seven damage. Nine damage and misses. So seven, nine, sixteen. He's taking sixteen per turn. So if we keep this up, we should get kill him in like <laughs> fifteen turns. I think we need. Oh, where's it all our? Pots. All of our pots, I think, were with Drear and Tom. Ah, oh, we got turquoise. We got turquoise. That should hopefully sort Syra out. For this turn, anyway. Because we, we have to freeze this dude in place. We, we can't let him move. Okay, let me think. If they had one round of firing, they probably got like him down to 80, and then three on their own. 80, 65, 50, 15. So yeah, I think we're still gonna need to be attacking him for another like three rounds. That's my call. My call. Should probably flee, but. I, uh, yeah, yeah, I think so, Kaido. What was this blue dagger? Is that anything? Anyway, anyway, all right. So we just have to keep stocking Syra up with uh, hit points so she can carry on casting frost what's it you know what let's see what Melthus can do in close quarters shall we this isn't gonna go well is it it's cool as long as Syrah can keep on freezing him that's fine and she was doing more damage with the frost spell than Melthus was doing with his fireball anyway 
Oh my lord! Forgot to cast it! I'm so stupid. Oh no. Well, bye Melfus. Ah, uh, it was nice knowing you. I've killed you. I've literally killed you. Um, what can you do? I, I can't do anything, can I? Uh, because this dude is so quick. Unless hopefully he moves forwards and tries to attack Rayner. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Eleven damage. Rainer misses. Damn you, Rainer! No, Melfus had all the, the the potions as well. I have done this so badly. Oh no. <laughs> right, guys. Oh, do you hear that? I'm getting emotional. Cracking. <laughs> Cracking under the pressure. <sighs> Drink. What does this... What do, what do red potions do? And violet potions? I'm not going to try it out now. Or am I? Go on, let's try... Like, because uh, there is the chance that I'm just going to die. And then we'll be... We'll, we'll have to reload. So let's try out a... Well, we've got more red than... Let's try a, a red one. Syrah drinks the red liquid. Her head clears, and a little mental energy returns. <gasps> I see. What does the violet potion do? Syrah drinks the violet liquid. The ability to concentrate seems to return. Oh, so these are like mana. Mana pots. If only we knew. Okay, okay, Rainer. Uh, right, you've got 18 arrows to try and throw at this dude. Uh, what was your close combat skills? 25. Anything happen when you... No. Oh, man. What does a throwing dagger do? Damage 5. Uh, do we... No, 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 I'm not going to try it. Wait. Yeah. Throwing dagger. Right, let's try some throwing daggers. He says, quick 180 that was. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to try it. Syrah, you know what to do. Frost splinter into the ground. There he goes! Ah, oh, 180 experience points for those guys left. Nice. Well. Thank you, Syrah. You are very OP. What the dickens are we going to do now? Ah, oh, Fraser, you onion! That was ridiculous. Why, 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 Delilah? No, 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 no. Because I don't think I can rest now. Nobody's tired. No, nobody's tired. But there are three people that are knocked out. <sighs> Personally, if Raina survives any fight, I'm surprised. Right, Syrah, you're the leader. And we just have to hope that the rest of this... I mean, I'm going to save... However, if we fail this, uh, then I might, it, like, if there's a fight around the corner, we might just have to, to reload the entire game. Uh, re not the entire game, you know what I mean. The uh, the previous save. Pardon me. Locked portcullis. I like the word portcullis. <laughs> DP, I'm with you. Rainer is as effective as a 
floppy fish thrown in the face of a goat. Hey! This chest has lockpicks in it. That's handy. What about these barrels? Barrow in a barrel? No. Barrow in this barrel? No. There's... Oh my word, what is this? Trap door, trap door, trap door. Don't you open that trap door! Cause there's something down there. Boo -doo, boo -doo. Uh, I'll carry on with the game now, shall I? What's that? <gasps> Can we examine it from this far away? No. Well, luckily, time's gonna pass. Quite a lot. We're just dragging our friends across a room full of trapdoors while they're unconscious. It's pretty standard, you know. It's nothing I haven't done before. <gasps> Speaking of which, tomorrow is the day that uh, I go to the the pub puzzle. Puzzle pub. In Brighton. Oh, there's an electric uh, wall over there, isn't there? Trap wall. Okay, well, we've managed to... To, to get through this bit, haven't we? Yes. Not for me, lad. I'm, uh, I'm Kent, aren't I? Like, Brighton is 40 minutes away. Simple as. you got to remember, I am used to driving an hour and a half just to get home from London. Uh, I'm going to save again. I'm actually going to use that same save. Yes! Hey! Okay, welcome back, everybody. And here's... Ah, it seems to be a large type of force field. It produces a buzzing so loud that the hands are... Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Hmm. So, I guess we need to find something to break... Break the walls down! I was going to start singing again, but I've done that too many times already today. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So we're here, and there is a ton of traps in front of us. And we have no way of dissipating these traps yet. Oh, there was a special there. I didn't see that. There must be a switch. Oh, now I've got to go all the way back through. <laughs> right, let's not fall down the holes, shall we? Oh. Nope. Nope. This way. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Sorted. Dre, you have the party again. Let's go and find this special. Is it a switch? It was a switch. What an idiot. A mechanical switch. Wrong button. Sweet. I really hope there isn't an animal in here. An animal three. But let's be honest, there is a lot of noise happening. <gasps> I have a bad feeling about this. Look at those beasts behind the wall. Everything f smells like a trap here. My thoughts exactly, Drear. Wait, what? Was that supposed to be someone else's? I'm going to say that was someone else that was saying that. Uh, let's say Rainer is saying this. Agreed, but the switch on the front is green. Up to now, the green ones have always had a positive effect. Up until now. What the? I mean, come on. It, it literally can't release that or else... We're dead. Unless we have to extinguish these lights. Maybe if you leave these lights open, these walls open. 
but if you extinguish these lights, they will remain closed. Let's save before we uh, test this theory out. I'm going to use the same save again, because there hasn't really been much happening. Let's have a look. The green wall rises up, but behind the group, something seems to have moved as well. Oh, hello. It's red things. Oh, that's why we need to... You see, I see, I see. Uh, and also, Kaido, it's not just Puzzle Pub. It's Rue Cat's uh, birthday next week, so... Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, it's a load of them. It's, in a, whole, it's a whole line of red doodads. Well, unless we find something in this that's completely OP, I think we might be slightly screwed. Ooh! Blue stuff! I mean staff, of course. How much do they weigh? 250 Gs. I'm still going. 54 kilos, 56. Sweet. So, um, do we just run away? Just like at, just straight up sprint. Or are we gonna have to extinguish these? That one's extinguished. That one's extinguished. Oh, come on! I extinguished your flames! What more do you want? Oh, dude. Oh, my God! Let's get out of here. Maybe there's a way to block the beasts. That's a good point. Let's click the switch! Click the switch! Ah! Sucks to be you, beasties! Look at them all! I wonder if we could, like, let them out one at a time and just take them on that way. Probably not. That's probably a bit too much to ask. Can we rest yet? No, it's too dangerous here. No, it's not. I saw them right at. Sweet. Everybody's healthy. Right, well, with everybody healthy and us packing a load of blue rods. Easy. Let's save. We'll create a new save, shall we? Ah, uh, 49. And let's go tackle this, this load of uh, electricity walls. Because if I remember you correctly, DP, I remember you saying that there was a, um, uh, there was a rod that you could use on these things, which I assume is this rod. Oops. Um, come on. Excuse me. I need to use the rod, please. Once the rod makes contact, the force field collapses. The rod turns into dust. Okay, well, that's that's one way of getting through, I suppose. I guess we're just going straight through, unless anything jumps out on us. Touch wood. I mean, touch wood it doesn't. Actually, we've got a full party health. We can take on anything. Take on all comers. What's going on there? Can we just go round this one? What is that hiding behind it? Is there literally... Oh, there's a switch. There's a little switch. It's a switchy doodad. Yeah, we should probably... Probably use that switch. Oh, okay, DV. What happened? What opened up? Oh! There's a wall just there, opened up by the looks of things. 
We're gonna find Barrow's corpse soon. Oh, what just happened? Wait, what? What? Why did... Did that not... I think that was something, but it bugged out slightly there, I think. And it... I think it, it flashed up a little sentence, but then it, the sentence didn't work. Or or it cancelled itself. That's annoying. That's very annoying. Can we check this one? Heap of old junk. Oh, okay, so it's just a heap of old junk. Hopefully it's nothing, uh, there was nothing of value in there. Fingers crossed. DP, when I was... You picked up some trash. Oh, okay. It might be something as insignificant as uh, 0.4 gold. I see. Should we see? Wait, Drear was the one in charge, wasn't he? Uh, oh, it might have been a torch. Might have been that torch. Maybe. Maybe. Ah, oh, well. Okay. Uh, Rainer, you're, you're the guy in charge of opening boxes. Power amulet. I've just realised that I haven't opened up my uh, soundboard. Bear with me. Ah, <laughs> oh, everything was going so well today. I suppose nothing could go well for the entire day. Come on, where you at? Okay, backtrap a little bit. Backtrap. Ooh, a power amulet. <laughs> I'm a fool. Okay, who's gonna have the power? I mean, I, I'm. I don't want to put it on because curses. Dre, you can carry it for a second. I tried the metal fixes. Wait, uh, there wasn't anything else in there, was there? Gold rations? Nope. Are we done in this room? I do you believe? I do believe! And away we go. Tom, do the honours please. Blue staff your way through this place. Right. Oh, there's another level! Come on! Really? Okay. Oh, blimey, governor. That's ridiculous. Alright, how big's this one? Said the actress to the bishop. Oh no, Pops! Pops is all wet. Oh, you! Oh my word! You're soaked. That is a very wet cat. Oh, I'm sorry, pops. She's been out in the rain. It is blowing a hooli, and it's torrential rain out there. And she, yes, come on. She probably just wants to come up onto my lap, just so that I can sponge off all of the wetness from her. Pops, you're gonna come up. Or are you just gonna? Yeah, well, you can stay there then. Go on. Good girl. Good girl. That'll do, pops. That'll do. Try not to attack my wires, please. Thank you. Right, where where are we? This has to be the end. Meow. Do you catch her meowing? By the way, can you hear that? Oh, I hear enemies. Where do we come in? There. Let's go down through here, shall we? South room. It looks uh, suspiciously... Ooh, what's this? Well, that wall doesn't match the rest, but that doesn't give me anything. Come on! Okay.
She's coming through that in a minute, isn't she? And by that, of course, I mean the green screen. You're playing right now, and you give Tom a weapon, he breaks it, and he goes two in a row. Then you just break him over his knee. Screw your weapon! Clearly, he wants to fight with his bare hands, DP. Oh, hello. Flamey things. Flamey enemy coming towards me. Ah! Oh my lord. Look what's happened to Syrah. She's turned to stone with so many of these dudes about. Oh, that was a very sweet meow. Yeah. Well, you can come over. I did. I have told you. No, you can. I'm not lying. Do you want to come over? I'll give you another chance. Come on. Up you come. Well, stop just shouting at me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I'll leave it I'll leave it open for you, shall I? I'll give you the chance. Okay, so Syrah is going to use some magic. And with this many, guess what we're going to use? A bit of frost avalanche. Not beer. How's it going? You're having a good day? <laughs> Broken weapons slash armor are very annoying. I admit to save scumming when it happens. No way! <gasps> yes, Pops. I know, right? You tell him. Now. That's what Pop School thinks of your save scumming. Uh, Alright, Melthus. <sighs> we need things to come forwards before you can fireball them to death. Oh, oh no, she's licking a, licking a bum hole. Good times, Pops. Enjoying that. Small fireball. I think we can cast those on these guys, because Warning Act 2s were quite slow, weren't they? Drea misses his victim. Oh, I need to speed up the, um, uh, the combat text again, don't I? Sixteen damage. Okay, we're back. We're back to sixteen damage again. Uh, can I? Oh, I wish there was a hotkey to speed it up and slow it down. That'd be good. <clears throat> Sweet! Saf, good afternoon, sir. How are you? How is life and the times? Pardon me. Um, okay. Tom, please attack the Warning Act 3. Rayna... You can do the same. Actually, I'm going to give you a close combat weapon. Oh no, he's been throwing knives. Sweet. Zaf, I am doing very well. As I'm sure you're, uh, you're really intrigued about. You're really interested to know. I lost 800 grams this week. 0.8 of a kilo. And as a kilo is the maximum, like, healthy loss per week, I'm pretty happy about what, what, yeah, what's happened. So, yeah. First weight loss week is down. And we're, we're, we're rolling. Well, I'm definitely rolling because I'm still a big fatty, but, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, he now has a close combat weapon, so you can attack that dude. Uh, Melthus... Wait, attack him, please. Pops, are you going to come up? Because you've been shouting at me for like 20 minutes now. Come on. Bear with me while I try and convince Pops to get on my lap instead of just sitting there shouting at me. 
I don't know what you're after, because it's definitely not food time yet. You've got two hours, love. You coming? There we go. Bear with me. Come on. Am I going to have to pick you up? Don't show me your bum. And... And... And she's landed! Ah! We finally have wrangled the cat. Excellent news. Okay, she'll hopefully stop shouting at me now. And we can crack on. Small five, alright. All these dudes are frozen, so I'm gonna systematically take out the ones further away with Meltus, because we know he can... He can pretty much do that. He, he can sort that right out. Um, Syrah. It's not really any use using Frost Avalanche again, is it? Or is it? To be honest, Dirty Gertie is half of the reason why, uh, why I've lost the weight. For those of you that are unaware, me and Trendkill uh, created a... Uh, a ping pong table and we've named it Dirty Gertie for no reason she's quite clean as far as tables go <laughs> nice crisp white lines oh oh pops that's my knee <laughs> ow anybody that's just joining me I've got a cat on my lap it's just not like somebody underneath the desk <laughs> oh it's all gone wrong hasn't it Okay, let's try and focus here, people. Oh, cobbler me. Um, what was I doing? Frost splinter on Warniac Three. You guys are both attacking the Warniac Three. Ah, oh, she stopped. Excellent. Uh, Drea, you can attack that dude. Awesome. One down. Two down. Frost splinter on that fella. Ah, see? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, DP, these guys did not deflect the spell and they were only frozen for one round. Ah! <laughs> Stop it, Pops! <laughs> She's clawing me! Maybe I should move the cam down so that it's not just me making weird noises. You can see what's happening. This cat is clawing me to death. Ah! Oh, well, she's pretty ecstatic. Oh, right on the bony bit. Ow. That's better. Okay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I have a three turn frost splinter here, so maybe it's a lower level. Ah, probably. Yeah. Well, you are further in the game than me, so maybe, maybe. Okay. That was that was it. She's she's run off now. It's probably because I stopped squealing when she was uh, digging her claws in. Um. The warning act three is pretty much dead. Uh, Sarah, you're quite quick, so I'm going to Frost Splint of this Warniac 2. Melthus, you can then Fireball him. Drear, attack, Tom attack, Rainer attack. Yeah, that, that, look, that works well. Frost Splint was partially resisted by... Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, so it's Frost Splinter, the single target spell. Does that have a longer duration, then? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I see. I see because I've only just done it on the Warneck 3. Right, we've figured it out. And by we, I mean you've told me what it is. Oh, don't miss. 105 experience. Nice. And yet, we didn't level up. Right. Okay. Um, 
didn't see those guys back there. Well, first off, we'll probably be drinking another one of these pots. Um, not that that did much. Okay. Ah. Um, well, they move quite fast. So let's advance the party. Tom, attack that dude. Dre, attack that dude. Rainer, attack that dude. Syra, maybe, f hopefully, Frostblint of this one in place. While everybody else tries to take this fear one down. Right. <laughs> Rainer is something. I didn't see what Rainer is. Probably panicking. Not able to deflect the spell, so that means it should be for three turns, yeah? In which case, I'm going to Frost Splinter this one again. What is What happens to Rainer? What's his... Yes, he's panicking. Oh, Rainer. Come on, man. Sarah, Frost Splinter this one. There we go. Uh, let's try and take this fear one out first. Small fireball. Um, that was actually that was quicker than than us, wasn't it? Before Rainer runs off, let's use some of his <laughs> drinks. Okay, that'll do. I think that'll do. Ish! <gasps> oh man, he took Rainer down. Downtown. Okay, Syra. Frost Splinter, please. On this one again. Whilst we rearrange ourselves. Small fireball. <laughs> 50. Come on. Um, can we, like, quickly rest? Ah, well, at least it's not dangerous here. Oh, rain is only at half health. Ah, oh, I was going to say I hear warning axe. I see the warning axe now. Um, frost avalanche or frost crystal. Let's use a frost crystal. We haven't used one of those. That should hopefully frost this entire row for two rounds. Maybe, maybe. Dre, attack that dude. Tom, attack that dude. Raina, attack that dude. Melthus, attack that dude. Okay. Frost, frost crystal. The row should now be frozen. That's it. So maths would say that these guys should now take <clears throat> two damage each. I mean, two turns to, to get come out of the frost. In that two turns, Tom is Tom and Drew are going to attack that dude. Uh, Rainer is going to attack that guy. Melthus is going to uh, hopefully finish off that guy. Syra, mm, you are going to... Thorn Trap. That one. Why not? Why not? There's nothing you can do to stop me. Okay, one down. Probably should have uh, Frost Splintered again, shouldn't I? Uh, okay. Well, Frost, Frost Crystal. Let's do that this time. And just hope that... Oh, maybe Rainy should move. Oh, no, because these guys are really fast, aren't they? Um, do I just let Rainer die? Do I just let him die? No, I'm not that mean. I'm not that mean. Drink this, Rainer. 
and then hopefully you won't die. She's back again! Poisoned! Oh, he's poisoned. That's not good. Right, I was... Um... Really hoping that they would die. Oh, not frost. No, not frost avalanche. That's too much. Too much! Frost crystal. Melthus. Small fireball. Uh, Tom, I think I need you to attack this guy. And then hopefully Drear can take that guy out. Hopefully. Nice, he did. No damage done to Tom, no damage done to Tom, no damage done to Tom. Oh, I shouldn't have used Frost Crystal. Ah well. Ah well, it's not that big of a deal. Wow, he's still not dead. Rainer, you're going to move out of the way. Tom and Melthus. I'm going to hopefully take him out. These guys, how much do they have? Warniac 2 is 28. I swear that's two small fireballs that that dude... Oh, it's a Warniac 3. They have 45. Yeah. Okay, well, this will be the last round, I imagine. Because you can't... You can't stand up to this beating, dude. Sweet. Right, so let's give all this stuff to Tom. And we need to ask Syrah if she has a uh, cure poisoning. Was it poison that uh, Raina had? Yes. Uh, can we rest? Oh, we just literally rested, didn't we? Whoops. I don't hear any more enemies, though. So finger oh my word! Scare the bejesus out of me! I felt something rubbing around by my feet, and I thought it was popsicle, but it's not. It's a big black dog. Well, not big black dog. Average size black dog. <laughs> it's Yaska. Look at me, while I, I... I still haven't been able to find any more sounds to put my soundboard. I will. But currently I just have to do them with my... With my mouth. With my mouth. Easy. Easy. Don't think there's anything else in this room. Um, resting? Oh! Barrow, whom we were looking for, has wandered into this neglected room. His desperation quickly changes to joy when he sees his rescuers, and especially Melthus, his son. Melthus, you have found your old dumb Atio. He's Scottish, apparently. Why is he Scottish? We may never know. It's a very average sized dog. And by very average, I mean probably on the small sized dog. <laughs> Bigger than a cat, though. So, you know. At least I know my sizes. Melthus embraces his foster father wordlessly. Then they both go to the companions. With a lot of gestures, Melthus introduces Bero. With Syrah's help, they explain how Syrah and Melthus feel about each other. They're in love. <laughs> then they hurry back as fast as possible. The re uh, their return proceeds without major problems. Bero is greeted with a warm welcome from some and sharp words from others. They enter the room of Nemo, the head of the druids. Bero. I think I can save myself the reprimand. You know what you have risked. It was certainly a mistake to climb down into Drino. 
However, I only regret having put Malthus and his companions into danger because of my foolishness. I would like to thank all of my rescuers again. With will, with which I would like to concur. Beryl is quite often a pig-headed plague. But nonetheless, I am happy to have him back with us in one piece. Now, as I have understood, a, well, unusual incident has happened between Melthus and, uh, Syra? Nemos, as you can guess, we were quite surprised ourselves. We would like to continue this journey together. Melthus nods in agreement. Well, why not? I wish you much luck, Malthus. Not everyone here in Greater Gel would understand the bond between human and Iskai, and so perhaps it is better if you leave for a while. Speaking of continuing with the journey, Barrow, I must ask you for a specific amulet which we were ordered to pursue, procure, even. Of course, Tom. Please follow me to my workroom. Here you have the strength amulet. It is the least I can do for you. I wish you all, and especially you, Melthus and Syrah, Danu's blessing for your journey. Cheers, Barrow. Ah, oh, well, it wasn't that nice. We've managed to make it out of the dungeon. Um, guys, really, what's going on here? I'm being surrounded by animals. Diddle 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 A lavishly decorated wooden chest. Okay, well, we need to go and uh, get Malthus uh, some more information, uh, some more spells from Torco. Oh, wait. Oh, Torco's the dude who. Uh, power amulet. Wait. Oh, this is the power amulet. Items has been examined for information. Uh, was there anything else that uh, we got down there that needed appraising? We'll just go through everybody. Come on, Torco, stop running away. Silver chain is just a silver chain. No, nothing there. Tom, you got anything that Melf uh, Torco can... Give you a chat about? No. Pistol? Oh, the pistol was free. Um, Melphus and Syrah haven't gone yet. Oh yeah, Melphus can't speak. Syrah, has she got anything? No. Oh, well, at least we know. We can now have a look at what the, the red potions do. More. <laughs> well, that was really worth it, wasn't it? I knew I shouldn't have done that. It was only 0.2 of a coin, so of course it wasn't going to come out with anything important. Right, so what I think we're going to do now is we're going to finish up Albion here. Uh, once I've, I've rested the party and I've kind of... Uh, sold all of the stuff that I need to do. I need to, to get rid of quite a bit of junk that we found down there. Yes, please. Uh, Berserk. What? Oh, so you need to... Uh, yeah, no, I'm not... 56 gold. We already have the scroll, the Berserk scroll down here. Can we learn Berserk from the scroll? Melthus learned the spell! There we go. Oh, and Melthus learned the magic shield spell as well. This is going well. What about these two? Light and banished demons. She already knows light. Also, by the way, I'm not going to put any spoilers, um, but Game of Thrones... Almost shat myself. Oh, family friendly. 
sorry, I apologise, but it was so exciting. It was genuinely... Yeah. Well, what I said just then. Uh, banish demons. Spell level is too high, so we'll keep that up there. Do you think Syria can learn any of these? I really should be. I apologise. Although that's the first slip up I think I've made. It was going to happen when I was talking about Game of Thrones, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just get way too excited. Uh, oh no, Light Sarah definitely knows. Maybe she can't learn these because, well, she's a uh, she's not a druid, is she? She is um, an Iskai mage. G cast mage. That's the one. It really is. I, sh I should probably <laughs> calm down. Uh, right. So, oh, I wanted to put these all in one pile. But we've still got six left. Not that's a bad thing. I'm going to sell one of these crystal daggers, I think. Yeah. Anyway, was there anything that we needed to buy from this guy? Shock! Ooh. 64 G's? Okay, fine. We do need to give Melthus some more uh, some more spells, because he doesn't he doesn't have the greatest selection at the minute. I mean fireball was really handy, but there's definitely more out there. I just want to pop outside for a second. In game. Not IRL. So I can rest the party up till dawn. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, we're going to go down to the village just below us so we can sell our wares. Why right down there, Yaska? You having a good time? Okay, what have you got for us? Did we sell the Warniac Spheres? No, we sold them just down the road, didn't we? Um, bub, 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 bub. So, oh, strength damage that goes to the other dude. We're going to need that. Uh, Rainer, you got anything to sell? Oh, we've got some spare boots here. We can sell these boots. Uh... Oh, we need to get these rings appraised, don't we? We have a, sil a ring with gold, a silver ring, and a leather shield. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, we don't know anything about these, and I don't want to put them on until we know what they do. <laughs> Nothing else to sell for Rainer, though. Drear. Oh, yeah, we, we found out about the power amulet. Life points bonus 25. Strength 5. 50? Holy moly! Okay, interesting. Uh, can we, oh, point 0.8 of a coin, it's not worth it, is it? Uh, bucket, sell? <laughs> no. She doesn't want my bucket. Ah, uh, right, right. Sarah, you got anything to sell? Oh, we were going to sell one of these crystal daggers. 156 coins. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Oh, Melthus cannot speak. Melthus's pencil. Oh, we've got loads of leather shield and stuff like that, haven't we? Uh, yeah. Leather shield. Nice. 42 coins. And a leather hat. So, um, yeah, we still need to get the blue dagger appraised. Sell a load of our Warniac spheres and stuff. And then we'll be uh, moving on to unfinished business. Oh, this is the wrong place. Oh, and this was the wrong way around. Always going the long way around, me. Ah. Mm. 
Okay. Who's in charge? Tom should be in charge because he's got he's got all the spears, isn't he? Show us selection, please. So we've got 38 warning axe spheres. How much will you? Oh, click the wrong button. There we go. How much will you give for this? 95 coins. <laughs> yeah, you will. What about these nine big old warning axe spheres? Well, normal sized warning axe spheres. 52. What are you doing down there, Yasuko? I think he's trying to dig through the floor. Would you stop that, please? Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine if we just sold that straight back in it? That guild leader, or no, not guild leader, that village leader would be pretty annoyed. Okay. Looks good. Looks good. Let's go get uh, the rings repaired. And then we'll uh, we'll move on. To what is effectively a new game. I know it's not, but shh. I tell you what. Oh no! I'll, I'll tell you when we're we're playing uh, unfinished business. Ooh, what was I going to say? You'll have to stick around to find out. <laughs> Seriously, guys, you're like an hour and a half early for dinner. I know I'm a light touch, but I'm not that light. Eight hundred grams lighter though. I'll shut up about it sometime soon, but I'm so happy. Uh, right, ring with gold. Oh, it's just a ring with gold, apparently. Uh, silver ring? Just a silver ring. What else did we want to appraise? Uh, Melthus has got some stuff, doesn't he? Oh, man. That's really annoying that you got to move all this before uh, yeah anyway it's not that annoying it's just just annoying to me blue dagger oh it's, it's already available it didn't cost us anything damage minus 16 <gasps> it's a, uh, it's a, um, it's cursed. Minus sixteen damage. Minus thirty SP. Yeah. Well, it's a good job we didn't use it. Oh yeah, these rings are literally just rings, aren't they? They give a little bit more protection, though. Look at all the bling on Rainer. And with his gold rings. Maybe we should actually give that to somebody that uh, is at the front line. I, I assume this guy can wear rings. Yeah. Nice. Alright. So, next time we play Albion... We will be taking ourselves down to the village of Kluta and giving the uh, the strength amulet to the dude that runs uh, the, the village down there. However, for the day, that is going to be us playing Albion.